turn on your notification bell you will still get those information you are looking for thank you you target a rebus in your planned closure of ladipo and oyibo markets in lagos labor party accuses the lagos state government that's the labor party you know in lagos state or oh, lagos labor party nigeria not just in lagos state but labor party nigeria yes in a strong word statement they signed you know the party's national public secretary arabambi abayomi signed it you know where they stated unequivocally that the lagos state government planned closure of Ladipo and Oyibo markets, you know, predominantly, you know, populated by the Ibos. Yes, that it is because of the Ibos, because they are obedient. You know, a planned rally for P2B, you know, has been given nightmare to the Lagos State Government and the APC across Nigeria. APC Nigeria is having night, they are having sleepless nights over this uh, planned uh, rally for people to be in Lagos. Obedient rally, you know, scheduled to hold October 1st as the country celebrates their independence from Great Britain. You see, so this is, this rally has been planned. Several rallies has been held across the states in Nigeria. And Lagos said they will hold their own October 1st but the state government is jetry, APC is jetry, and they're closing Oyimbo and the Ladibo market because they are populated largely by Igbo people, businessmen, traders. And that's why the Labour Party said, we know your antics. You can pretend, but this is deceptive. We know it. Yes, they accuse the Upper Congress that government of being an intolerant and highly crude government, adding that being completely dictatorial, Hitlerite, and recklessly very undemocratic. Yes, that's how they describe the APC government in Lagos State. Yes, they say the public will easily recollect that Igbo, who in the main are loyal and are confessed supporters of Labour Party in Lagos State, who officially prevented through the use of talks by the APC government from taking part in the voters registration exercise a few months back. And so that's the what they want to do and now that's what the Labour Party is saying. Say so what they did during the voters registration as they prevented the Igbo people from going to uh, you know excite you know obtain their voters card. The same thing they want to do now to prevent them, to discourage them, to demoralize them from lending their support to the rally. You know and so they say considering the fact that these southeastern Nigerians are huge, are huge in population. They owned land, properties, and blue chip businesses in Lagos. Oh, the party said they are in truth responsible for a very huge and heavy percentage contributors to the IGR in Lagos. But what the what the Labour Party is saying is obviously the truth. And it's always the truth. They're saying they both own land, they own uh, you know their own properties and blue chip companies and businesses in Lagos and they contribute to they contribute hugely to the IGR of Lagos there. so and that is it and that is it it's true the what Labour Party is saying about the boys in Lagos is true and what they say about the government is true the bullion van man is controlling the Lagos state government and he's contesting elections so he's trying to sabotage and you know undermine the capacity and the potency of other candidates, particularly that of P2B, who is making waves in the southern Nigeria more than himself. You see. So he said it is beyond any form of argument that the population of the South Eastern in Lagos is clearly a very substantial percentage of the total population of Lagos. That's what Labour Party is saying. Yes, the National Secretary about me. The National Public Secretary about me. You see. See South Easterners he says very they have substantial percentage of total population of Lagos. So they said in a democracy, the citizens are free to choose which party to support and vote for and should not be intimidated, harassed, or in any way victimized by, by the government, both states, local or federal. So APC have shown themselves, you know, you know, to be people or who are to be anti people. You know, they are anti democratic principles. All their moves are undemocratic. 
Yes, that's what the Labour Party is saying. That is true. It is true. It said that um, they are condemning the what the, the, the what they call a new trend of targeting the businesses of the supporters of LP for annihilation as an official policy and direct political victimization by the government. Yes, they said it stinks and is highly condemnable. It stinks and of course it's thinking what the government is doing. What are you doing? Eh, you are shutting down like the boy, you are shutting down, uh, you know, Oyimba market because you know that the both said, Why is this coming just barely two, uh, you know, few weeks or two weeks? Not up to two weeks now, yes, less than two weeks to first of October, and you are doing this. Why? Why is it coming at this time? It's petty and pedestrian for a government at that level to behave this way. Lagos is a very, uh, you know, metropolitan city. And state so they should be leading by example as they say there is a center of excellence um, but what they're doing is not center of it's not showing that they're center of excellence this thing like Lampard said they say it stinks you know so that is it so that is what we are seeing in this country you see so the party went on to say that closing Ladipo and all your markets in Lagos indefinitely indefinitely or they say to pre Dominantly major centers of evil businesses with a view to turn their businesses because they are confessed and very unrepentant lawyer supporters of Labour Party in Lagos is intolerant, callous, insensitive, repressive, a direct discriminatory and oppressive act by the Lagos State APC government. Yes. You see? You see? And they said even Lagos State is not unaware. Yes, that their own citizens are also, they are working and living in other states of the country. So, they said, must Lagos government be this, be given to this evil against fellow Nigerians? Why? And they said, the constitution of Nigeria guarantees every citizen the freedom to live and work in any part of the country. It's a constitutional duty. Constitutional duty binding on the Lagos government to guarantee all citizens the fundamental human rights. But again, Evolutions, social insecurity, and people's rebellion are born by oppressive and wicked governance. That's what the party said. Yes, this is a born by evil government is doing. When government is op oppressing the people, when government is petty, when government is deceptive, they are opaque and clandestine in their activities and whatever they're doing, no probity, no accountability. You know, bigotry, nepotism, and tribalism reign supreme in government, uh, you know, businesses and affairs and uh, programs and policies. It is very bad. And that is why we are seeing agitations, you know, going on. So it is my turn. By fire, by force, it is my turn. If we don't accept my turn, we will we, 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 overwhelm me. We will overwhelm me. If we don't accept, it's our turn. A miracle are torn. And that's what's happening. That's why I say Nigeria is a joke of a country. It's unsustainable. Yes. The country is unsustainable because of the characters that the country has produced in recent time, or well, not even in recent times. In, in, from uh, 1970, since after the First Civil War, yes, when the, 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 the real patriots, patriots, that fought for independence of this country has, you know, given away. They have been sidelined. They have died. They have gone away. And this crop of politicians we have since the military era up until this moment, since the military changed the civilians who brought independence away, what are they doing? They brought in their fellow civilians who have destroyed the country. They have groomed them. And today they are, you know, cabars, they are jackals, they are bloodsuckers. That's why we are talking about a referendum to leave this uh, contraption. And that is irrevocable, of course, and non-negotiable.